Bruton, it's time. It's time that we talk about color grading. Hi everyone. We all know that color grading is an, it's an art. It's not just editing. It's way more than that. It's way more than that. It's something that we all strive for. It's something that we all want to be good at, but not all of us are good at it because some of us are colorblind. But that's what waveforms and graphs and numbers are for, for those who are blind to the truth. Well, I guess we should- Hey, 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 hey. Dude. Are you just, what are you sorry. doing? Sorry, I just, um, I'm- I'm just trying to. I just, I just had a moment. Trying to film something here. Um, can I use the camera? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Please. Um, do you do you need do you need the camera? You're just over there. Yeah. I'm sorry, we, you just. We do only have one camera. You're just over there. Do you you want I, it right now? Oh, you're doing a color grading tutorial. I just I need to use oh. the camera, dude. I'm trying to film something. Um, <sighs> can I just can I use the camera, please? This is so hard for me. You're just over there, crying. I, just, I don't know why. Um, so I just can can't you... imagine a world without color. <laughs> I think that's not over by over there by the window. Okay. Hey, do you have any peanut butter left? I would love some peanut butter and toast. Maybe some jelly and a banana. All right, cool. Sliced yeah. up nicely. Or okay. Thanks, laid man. out across. Minimum. Hey, how's it going? Today we're talking about color grading. <laughs> I want to talk to you about my process for how I color edit my footage using my HLG profile. And it's really simple. I edit in DaVinci Resolve. You can download DaVinci Resolve for free if you want to use it as like a color editing software. But sometimes these things will be translated to Premiere. But if you guys want me to make a video on how to color edit in Premiere, I can do that. I feel like it's way more intuitive in DaVinci Resolve. So I think I'm gonna make a video on that. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a little, some tips and tricks on how to get better skin tones and just overall like, how to get like a kind of like a natural even look to your videos. So let's hop right in. Okay, so. What we're going to do is I'm going to open up DaVinci Resolve and I'm just going to grab a random clip and we'll just play around with that. Alright, so we got a clip right here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the frame that I like. This is my beautiful wife, Ashlyn. Boom. That's kind of like your hero frame right there. I'm going to bring that into the timeline. I'm going to go over to the color editing part. Find like a hero frame, something that looks the best, you know, something that's in focus. Let's say right about there. So your face is in focus, uh, there's lots of greenery in the background, everything looks great. She looks great. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to, this is a node if you don't know. A node is kind of like a layer and you work from left to right. So if I were to add a whole bunch of nodes by typing uh, option S, you just create more layers. This is your base layer and then this is the second layer, this is the third layer. So for this first one, what I like to do is I like to name it. So I'm gonna press zero to add something. I'm gonna name it exposure. And then I'll make another layer and I'll name this one white balance. And then I'll make another one. And this one will be more like specific um, edits, like skin tone. So I'll call this one skin. And then what I like to do is I like to add like a, like sort of like a parallel layer. What is, it's kind of like if you wanna edit just the skin tones and then you want to edit just the green in the background, Alt Option P. And then this is kind of like, it combines these two layers into this final layer. And then this goes pretty much all the way to like, this is what your end product is going to look like. So if you want, you can add another one over there. That's kind of like, this will adjust everything globally after you've already edited um, 
done these little edits. This is a very simple thing that I do all the time and I don't go too far. Either, unless I wanna like, it's like an interview and I wanna add a whole bunch of different like color adjustments. What we gonna do? So that's kind of like generally what nodes are, guys. Um, just like layers. You can get more into it if you want, but I don't get too complex with it. So exposure, here's what we're gonna do. As you can see, this is just straight out of camera. I tried to be on like plus one to plus seven. So everything, there's nothing out of focus. Uh, there's nothing too under focus. Everything's pretty even. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, this is the waveform guys. So everything is like, this is all like, these are your, these are your darks and then kind of your midtones, and then these are your brights. And this is like the skin. This is her face, because it's like right in the middle. Up and down is shadows to brights, but then left and right is what you're seeing on the actual shot. So if you were to lay it over top of the footage, that's kind of what it would look like. So as you can see in the middle, her face, this is where the skin tones are. So you can take the lift, which is like the darks, and you can pull that down just a little bit if you want. I don't really like to adjust the contrast. I feel like it looks a little bit, you know, it kind of breaks the, it doesn't look as natural. It looks very digital when you add it. I don't like to add contrast like that way. So I'll go like this. I'll either go darks and I'll bring that down just a bit, just kind of so it's around like below 128, just so you kind of get a little bit more of those punchy blocks. And then I'll just take the lift of the game and I'll bring, kind of all the way up to about 896. You don't want to go too far up here because then it starts to peak and you start to get like overexposed parts like that. So I'm just gonna like bring it down a little bit just to make, make sure things aren't overexposed. Gamma is not everything, it's like more the midtones, but it kind of pulls everything in a way. Offset is everything, so offset kind of will push everything upwards or downwards. So you can use offset to like change the whole brightness or contrast and you don't want to like get everything like see this is where this is like right here where it's starting to like get just like jet black and there's no texture there anymore so you can always bring it up a bit um and this is kind of you know this is really up to you you can just kind of play around with it if you press shift d you can see before and after hold shift press d this is before this is after before and after okay so we'll leave that right there for now. Also, if you go to the node and you press Command D, that will turn off that specific node. But if you press Shift D, it'll turn off everything. Like global effects, it'll turn every all the effects off. And if you zoom in, you can zoom in with the scroll wheel and then hold down Command and you can go up and down. And if you wanna go back, you can press Z. It just sends you right back to where you were. White balance. As you can see, white balance is generally okay I try I usually try to like set the white balance on site so that everything looks okay but what you can do is um, you can play around offset you can do offset to like play around with the actual white balance you know you can push it more towards the magenta and for white balance I like to look at like the darks you know are the darks too pink are they too blue or too green or too warm right back where it was white balance is Okay, I think it's a little bit too green just because of Sony. So what you can do is you can just pull it a little bit away from Sony. I mean, a little bit away from green into that magenta look right there. Maybe a little bit less pink. Okay, and if you want, you can go to temperature and like add a bit more warmth to it. And then you can like take away a bit of the pink. So that's like, those are like the two ways that you can like play around with white balance. Um, I, sometimes I just play around with this, these sliders because it's just easier. So now this is where I start to play around with the skin, okay? So I'm gonna go to skin right here. Usually what I'll do with skin actually, I recently discovered this, the color warper. And this thing is crazy. This is the, basically a vector scope. So a vector scope shows skin tones. And as you can see right here, I've heard a few people say it actually, is that no matter what your skin color is, uh, we all have the same colored blood, so all of our skins lean towards that red of the color of blood. It's not like this is the color of skin. We're a little bit far off. We're a little bit more towards the green. Now Asian skin color is more in like the yellow spectrum of skin color. It's more like shifted towards that. And so you don't want to like 
say you don't want to push it over too far to the point where like it's like you know is holding her breath you know you want it to look natural so what did i just do there this color warp is crazy this kind of shows where the skin tones are kind of going here so as you can see we're going pretty yellow right here and this line represents her face this line represents the saturation so like the further out you go the more saturated the color is and then left and right is the hue and like the actual color so we're right here and we're getting out to about this line so i'm going to go up to this guy and i'm going to pull it this way just a little bit and as you if you look over here red this is kind of like this is pure red and you kind of want it to be around here like right next to it where the skin tone the bloodline is or just generally over there so what the cool thing is about this color warper is that it only grabs what this is so like it's kind of grabbing her face but also a little bit of her hair and if I were to bring that back to normal um, there are a little bit of greens in her hair you know there is some yellow there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this guy and I'm gonna pull it just slightly more towards red just slightly so now and then from there what you can do is if you want to give her skin tone more punch pull it up a bit just to give it more saturation now that is might be a little too much if you want you can go more towards magenta right about there and you can maybe bring it back a bit kind of play around with that sort of idea if you go back like you never know, command d that's before back now she's got some health she's got some vibrance in her skin crazy that's all i do for skin tones because you just got to bring it back to a natural look and you can always get into the nitty-gritty like you can adjust her lip color you can try to get in there with her eye color always by adding like if you want you can click this guy and then add add parallel node you can always go like okay maybe i want to adjust her hair or something but for now we're just going to do skin and then the trees in the back okay you can play around with this this over here but it it does move the trees but it also like I find that the greens and stuff like there's greens and everything even like skin so like it kind of shifts her face a bit okay so I don't like to play with that when it comes down to greens what I like to do is I like to go over here this is the qualifier and you just want to hold it down to like the lightest to the darkest point cool. and then that kind of generally grabs what it thinks you're you want Okay, so if you hold down shift H, that is what the qualifier is seeing. Okay, so if you click away, it's obviously not going to select anything. But if you go back and then you press shift H again, it goes back to normal. Shift H. This is what the qualifier want, is selecting. Okay, and you can do this. So like if you want more color, you can select more color. But just be careful because it, sometimes it'll start to get into her hair. So let's go about right there. Oh, see, it starts to grab her face. Let's go back a bit. You don't, want it, you don't want it to adjust her face, okay? Saturation, I just adjust these little things until like it kind of does what I want it to do. Like that's as far as it's gonna go right there. Okay, let's just, let's stick with that. Now, if you wanna go like this, uh, see how it's a bit crumbly right there. You can go denoise. I just like to bump it up to around like three and then it kind of softens it up a bit, okay? I like to unselect that. And you can kind of play around with the color, the uh, the actual trees. So like, let's bring some warmth into the trees over there. Bring some warmth. And then, oh, I feel like they're just a little bit too saturated. So I'm gonna bring down the saturation to about the 40. Okay, maybe like introduce a bit more yellow or like a bit more pink. Maybe bring it back down to green, kind of play around with that. And then let's go before and after, before, after. Okay, so it's like pretty vibrantly green. Now we're a bit softer. Okay, so from there, that's kind of what I like to do. And then I'll just, I'll keep it like that. Um, and then I'll come over to this one. And this one is kind of adjusting everything. So what you can do is uh, you can add more saturation, which adds absolute saturation to everything. Let's go, let's add a bit more saturation to the whole shot. Let's go 55, 55, okay, before and after. 
and then that's it. That's like literally it. I'll, I'll be like, sick, that's great. This is kind of generally what I'll do. Let's just recap. Uh, these are nodes, these are layers, this is water, uh, going upwards. So this is, this is the bottom layer. Yeah, so we can get more into notes. Um, there's lots of videos online talking about like specifically how to use notes. Um, I don't really wanna get into it because I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still figuring out these, this whole node thing. I don't feel comfortable teaching. Yeah, guys, I don't know. I hope you learned something. If you want me to do this in Premiere Pro, if this sucked and you were like, hey, never talk about color grading ever again because you freaking suck at it, let me know. You know, be honest with me. Remember, stay hydrated. I really hope this is recording because I can't see my screen right now because it's dead. Thanks, guys.